Merry Christmas, Buckheads, and welcome to my very first live show, and today we're going to be trying some extra fancy candy canes. Merry Christmas, Buckheads, and welcome to a nice, fun, and festive episode. Today we're going to be trying some candy canes. So we got sour cream and onion, we got bacon, ooh, we got mac and cheese, ketchup, and sardine. So I hope you enjoy. Uh, which one should we start with? Well, since it's right here on the top, I think we might start with ketchup. You know, it's red. They kind of look like real candy canes. So these ones can actually might get you in trouble because you might be able to trick a friend. If you give your friend one of these, they're like, oh, oh. Red and white, that's just a regular candy cane, but it tastes like ketchup. So I think this would be the one to start with. Uh, the other one that might trick people also would be the bacon one. But you know, it's like with these gray ones and the yellow ones, they might know something's up. But with these red and white ones, no clue, no clue. All right, so let's try out ketchup for the first one. Ketchup, ooh, ketchup candy cane, ooh. So, I'm guessing this one's just gonna be like sweet, tomato-y, like a tomato paste. Um, so that's the thing is like some of these flavors, I'm like, are these gonna be sweet candy canes or are these gonna be salty candy canes? So that's the thing that I'm a little bit worried about. Like sardine, I'm expecting that one to be kind of salty. Uh, ketchup, you know, the ketchup one, I can see that one being sweet. So opening up the ketchup candy cane. So everything looks pretty normal. It looks like a normal candy cane box. All right, so this is the ketchup candy cane. Ooh, little Mr. Ketchup bottle there. Thick, so this is a thick ketchup. I wonder if there's a thin ketchup. So they look like the normal ones, you know, just uh, red and white. So if I gave these to my friends, they would have no idea what's in it. Ooh, ketchup, thick, thick. So the brand that makes these is Archie McPhee. Hmm. Uh, nutritional information call. <laughs> yeah, these aren't made in the U.S. Oh, there we go. Okay. Ingredients. Sugar, corn syrup, water, artificial flavors. FDNC Red 40, FDNC Yellow 5, F... Yeah, just... If you're getting these, don't even ask, don't tell kind of thing. <laughs> don't ask, don't tell what the ingredients are, Okay. <laughs> So here we are. So this is the ketchup candy cane. Got a little beat up in the uh, shipping when I ordered it. This is one came a little bit later than all the others by itself. So it's a little more beat up. Um, but yeah, it looks like a normal kind of package. A little rattling. So I think a couple broke in transit. Let's take a close up look at the candy cane. So once again, these are red. So opening. Come on. Okay. So if I was to just look at this. This just looks like a normal red candy cane. If I saw this and somebody gave this to me, I would just assume it was a peppermint candy cane. So yeah, let's give this one a whirl and see if we like it. Peppermint candy cane. Candy cane, candy cane, what can you do? Candy cane, candy cane, how about you? So the first victim today. All right. I'm probably the victim on this one. We got the ketchup candy cane. So I think I'm just gonna eat them all the same. How do you eat your candy canes? Do you eat them from the top or from the bottom? I usually go from the bottom. I usually use this as like a handle, but I think some people, they kind of go from the top down. So that's probably more of a preference thing than anything. I should probably get this. Oh, there we go. All right, so we got the taste test. Ketchup candy cane. Take one. Hopefully this is the last one. Okay. Smell test. Doesn't smell like anything. Was there actually tomato in this one? I can't remember if there's tomato in this one or not. I don't think there is. No, it's just sugar, corn syrup, water, coloring. All right, here we go. Ketchup, candy cane. Okay, it's on the sweeter side. 
Definitely some tomato there. I don't hate it. I don't know. There's like a kind of a tang in there. So the initial taste wasn't too bad, but it's not getting better. It's almost getting worse. Mm. Yeah, it's it's a weird flavor. It's like a kind of like a bitter tomato, but yeah, it's still sweet because it's a candy cane. Is it ketchup though? A little bit, a little bit of ketchup. There's a hint of ketchup in it. There's definitely no peppermint. It's definitely sweet. Not any saltiness to it. So I'm a little bit worried about some of the others, especially the sardine with no saltiness to it. I think if it had a little bit of saltiness to it, it'd actually be better. So this one, I, I didn't know what to expect with this one. You know, it's like, ooh, ketchup candy cane. It's like, yeah, it kind of tastes like ketchup, but it's not like overly powering. Um, what am I talking about balance of food? It's it, it's a ketchup candy cane. It has like a medium subtle hint of ketchup in it. Um, yeah, wasn't too bad, wasn't too great. Eh. Eh, then I'll move on. Okay, so similar to the ketchup one, like, I, I, I think it's just gonna have a hot, subtle flavor of maybe like a generic kind of mac and cheese, like, um, not stovetop, but what's the, uh, the instant mac and cheese, macaroni. But once again, I think it's gonna have like just a subtle hint of it. I don't think it's gonna be overwhelming or anything. Um, once again, kind of that salty balance. Uh, when I think of cheese, I kind of think of like somewhat of a saltiness flavor to it. Uh, so let's see how this one goes. Okay, so this one is the mac and cheese candy cane. So this one I'm actually kind of the most curious on. Um, I don't know. Like I'm generally not a mac and cheese fan guy. Like I don't usually like make mac and cheese for myself hardly ever. I mean, I generally don't eat noodles that often either. I'm more of a rice and potatoes kind of guy. Uh, but let's give this one a whirl. Uh, let's take one right out of the middle. One hand it. Ah. All right. So, got a nice yellow and white candy cane here. I think it's all the same ingredients as before. Uh, but yeah, let's give this one a whirl. Candy cane, candy cane, what can you do? I can cane candy, can you? All right, so here we go. Mac and cheese candy cane. Interesting. Mac and cheese. Kind of smells like a wet dog or like fermented, something like fermented custard. No, it's a wet dog. Like, this literally smells like wet dog. Oh, God, it smells like rotten feet. <sighs> oh, that's terrible. That is awful. That is definitely the worst one I've had. Oh, my God. It's like a rotten fermented custard. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, no. No, oh, that's awful. Why, why would somebody make this? There's another flavor in there. I just can't, it's like it's like powdered cheese. So like if you took the fake macaroni and cheese and you made that powder, that's what this tastes like. It tastes like the fake macaroni and cheese powdered. Oh, oh it smells like feet. But there's another there's another flavor in there. And it tastes like I'm licking a wet dog covered in cheese, powdered cheese. It's like if a dog dumped. It's like if a dog jumped into a bucket of cheese and ran around. But no, this is disgusting. Like the candy cane mac and cheese is disgusting. Ketchup tolerable. Mac and cheese gross. Do not eat this one. Do not
not eat the mac and cheese one. This is nasty. Unless you like licking wet dogs. This is nasty. Stay away from this one. Ew. Gross. I'm moving on. This this one's disgusting. Stay away from it. Stay away from the candy cane. Stay away from the mac and cheese candy cane. Stay away. Oh, God. That's disgusting. I gotta save the sardine one for last. That one, I don't know. Ah, okay. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Number three. Let's go with sour cream and onion. Onion. I like that. More Cajun Creole pronunciation of onion. All right, so sour cream mac and cheese. Let's do the close up video. All right, so now what we're looking at here. So, what we're looking at here is the mac and cheese. Oh no, sorry. Oh god, no. No more mac and cheese. No more. All right, so what we got here is we got the sour cream and onion. Ooh. Ooh, so this is the one I think like when you look at it, it kind of looks like mint. But let's break into the sucker and see what's in it. So this one, I don't know. This one I think is gonna be somewhere to catch up. Or it's gonna have a subtle flavor, a subtle hint of onion. Oh God. Oh, it smells like onion. <laughs> oh God. That onion is strong. Like as soon as I opened it up, I smelled onion. All right, yeah, so as soon as I opened the sucker up, it smelled like onion. Oh God, it smells, it kind of smells like Top Ramen. Oh. Oh God, it smells like Top Ramen. So I have a feeling that this one might be salty just cause it smells like Top Ramen. And I can't imagine Top Ramen without being salty. Uh, but this is what the candy cane looks like. It's almost translucent lemon lime green, like a lemon green, not lime, not lemon. It's a lime green, but yeah, it's like translucent. It looks kind of lime, <sighs> but I, the onion smell is penetrating through the plastic. That's not good. Okay. Close up on the onion. So I'm guessing there's going to be a strong onion flavor on this one. I'm not sure what the sour cream flavor is going to be. Uh, hopefully it's not gonna be similar to the mac and cheese where you have that basically wet dog kind of flavor going. Um, <laughs> I'm not a flavored candy cane connoisseur, but if it has that souffle of wet dog, I am not gonna be happy. Okay, let's get the reaction camera going. Oh man, I am I am not looking forward to this one. I, it just smells like beef broth, top raw. I don't get any cream, but I'm not sure if you would be able to smell sour cream. So I don't know if you'd be able to smell sour cream, but this smells like Top Ramen. Like a bad off-brand Top Ramen. Like not the uh, the Mantro Mean or whatever the top brands are, but this is like an off-brand, cheap brand of Top Ramen. I do not want to eat this one. This one just, it smells like Top Ramen. It just smells like Top Ramen. Like, it does not smell like sour cream and onion. Like, not like sour cream and onion chips, not like sour cream and onion anything. This one just smells like Top Ramen. It should be Top Ramen. Oh, God. And when I smell Top Ramen, I want it to be salty. You know, kind of that unami flavor. But I, I have a feeling this one's just going to be sweet. Maybe like a sweet onion. I don't know. All right. Oh, I can't smell it while I do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Sour cream and onion candy cane. Here we go. Yeah, not, no, <laughs> no saltiness to it whatsoever. Kind of tastes like onion powder and sugar. Oh god. Oh, it smells too. It's like onion powder and sugar. Why am I puckering? Why am I puckering? This makes me pucker. Oh god. These are getting progressively worse. Ugh. This one actually has some kind of like savory flavor to it. Like the ketchup one was just kind of meh, like not too much, just a subtle hint. 
And the mac and cheese one had some kind of like weird wet dog plastic fermented thing. This one actually tastes like onion, like a semi-sweet onion. So it actually tastes like actual something, like an onion powder. Is it flavoring or does it actually have onion powder in it? No, just this flavoring. So it doesn't have real onion powder in it, but it tastes like onion powder. Like if you stuck your finger into onion powder and I licked it off, that's what this tastes like. So yeah, my reaction initially was kind of gross, but actually it just tastes like onion. Kind of a semi-sweet onion. Actually, this isn't bad. I, I know that my reaction was crazy, but this isn't bad. But yeah, this one actually tastes like something real. It's not a wet dog. It's not the freaking wet dog from the freaking mac and cheese one. It's not the subtle flavor of ketchup. This one tastes like onion. And it smells like onion too, but this one, not bad. Surprisingly, this one's probably my, it had my best reaction so far. <laughs> definitely, ooh, I was puckering my head. This definitely had my best reaction, but like after a few licks, this one actually got better and it's not so bad. Tastes like onion powder. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Oddly my favorite one so far, oddly. I don't mind onion, that's the whole thing. Like I might not like the, the sardine one too, but like I don't mind the strange onion thing. If you take out the whole candy cane thing, it's actually not bad. Okay, second to last here. Second to last, bacon. So these ones I'm a little bit worried about because these are like meat flavored ones. And the mac and cheese one was, you know, getting into that territory. It was cheese. It just tastes like artificial. So I'm having a feeling that these ones are going to be gross. So let's hop into the bacon. Oh, I'm worried about this one. It's like a fake <laughs> bacon flavor. Like bacons, like the fake bacon sprinkles. That's what I think this one's going to taste like. Okay, let's do a close-up shot. All of these just leave like a bad aftertaste. Like I still got the flavor of onion in my mouth. Like it's, that's gonna linger. Like that's, that's lingering. All right, here we go. The second to last one here. The second to last one we got here is bacon candy cane. Ooh. So this is the other one that might trick your friends the most. So if you just wanna kinda like sneak in a candy cane and be like hey you want candy cane sure and they eat it and they're like what is this this would be the other one because it's just basically a white and red candy cane like if you gave me this i'm like oh it's kind of a maybe a pinkish color but i wouldn't be surprised um no smell through the packaging the onion one i was able to smell all the way through no smell through this one um yeah it's just your standard candy cane let's give this one a whirl Okay, I'm a little worried on this one. I have a, it's, it's that artificial flavoring. I have a feeling this one's gonna be a wet dog. Please don't be a wet dog, please. I'm begging, don't be a wet dog. Oh man, my mouth just powdered onion. Fake artificial, I like top ramen. Like literally top ramen. This that's all my mouth tastes like right now is Top Ramen. I probably should have ended with that one. <laughs> I need the palate cleanser. Okay, come on and open. 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 Smells like nothing. Okay, that's kind of con disconcerting. Smells like nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Candy cane number four. So this is the bacon candy cane. Let's give this one a whirl. It smells like nothing. Like it literally smells like nothing. Bacon candy cane, huh? Sorta. Of. Like this is kind of like the ketchup one where it's very subtle. It's not overpowering. Luckily, it does not taste like wet dog. Luckily, luckily, this is not the mac and cheese one. 
kind of got like a definitely fake bacon, like a bacon kind of thing. So definitely a bacon thing. Maybe like a smoky flavor? Not overpowering. If I handed somebody this and was like, hey, this is bacon candy cane. Or no, don't, I don't even tell them. Like I just say, here's a candy cane, guess the flavor. I don't know if they would say bacon. There is kind of a porky kind of flavor, like a smoky pork. It It's, it's okay. Kind of disappointing. Subtly like bacon. So, you know, if you're kind of looking for like a nice little prank one, this one's not bad. It, it's kind of like the ketchup one. Is it better than the ketchup one? Oh, I still got the ketchup one down here. So these are the subtle ones. They both smell like nothing. That's very tomatoey now. Now that I've had the bacon one and comparing the two, like this tastes like tomato. Slight bacon flavor. Slight. Way more flavor than the ketchup one. Yeah, the bacon's probably on the lower list. Like just because there's not much flavor there. I would definitely put mac and cheese at the bottom. That's gross and disgusting. Don't have that one. Stay away from it. Bacon, I'd put number two probably. And then probably ketchup above bacon. Huh. And onion, surprisingly, onion was my favorite. Wow, you literally learn something about yourself. All right, let me keep track of these in the order because I want to do a comparison chart at the end. I think that's the order I'm at right there. Okay. So we're down to the final one, sardine. So you know what? I'm actually not too worried about this. I think this one's going to be similar to the pork one, the, the bacon one. I think it's just going to have like a little subtle flavor of fish or sardine in it. I think it's fine. I'm actually not worried. Yeah. I think I the worst one was mac and cheese. I think this is going to be simple and easy. I'm just saying that because I'm worried that this one's going to be the worst one. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Okay, doesn't smell like fish. Like, if I just open it up and it smelled like fish, I would be worried. All right, here's the sardine one. So this one's definitely the one that's... If you gave this to somebody, I think they would think something's up. You don't normally see gray and white candy canes. I like the side here, how they're coming out of a can. They kind of look like fishing lures. So, yeah, so this is the sardine one. Let's give this one a whirl. Oh. Oh. It actually held up their shapes pretty well for being shipped. All right. No smell. It's definitely gray. Come in a pro at this. Pro. Still no fishy smell. You know, I think this one is not going to be that bad. Yeah, doesn't smell like anything. This is sardine candy cane. Oh, <laughs> doesn't smell. It's not the onion one. Sardine candy cane. Here we go. A little bit worried. A little hesitant. Sardine candy cane. Merry Christmas! It's okay. <laughs> it's, if you don't like fish flavors, you're not gonna like this. The best way I would say this tastes like, it tastes like dried fish flakes that you would put into your aquarium. 
Yeah, it tastes like dehydrated sardines. Uh, it's not bad. Yeah, it's better. It's better the dehydrated one than the salty ones. Like, ha, 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 have you guys ever had like candied sardines before? It's like an Asian market thing, like where they'll bread them, and so it's like a snack. So this is kind of a sweet bready, a sweet sardine kind of thing. Now, of course, I'm kind of weird where I actually like, like, um, kind of fish flavors, like fish sauce and that kind of stuff, and candied sardines. I like anchovies on my pizza. So, for me, this one's not too bad. For most people, especially in the West, they would hate this. But I actually like it. I'm a bit weird with that one. Mmm. It is kind of a fake... Like, it's not actual sardine, so it is a fake sardine flavor. So I think for most people, this one would probably... Mac and cheese is still the worst. Mac and cheese is wet dog. Mac and cheese is awful. Don't have the mac and cheese one. Mac and cheese candy cane is the worst candy cane alive. I make this one... This one's tolerable to me simply because I like fish. I like fermented so fish sauce so i'm a little bit of a weirdo like that in the west uh so this one's up there but i think for most people this one would probably be like number two in terms of worst <laughs> down with the mac and cheese uh but no i like it i enjoy it i don't mind it <laughs> i know most of you are just like oh gross sardine candy cane but no i actually like sardines so i'm a little bit biased there and i do like fermented fish sauce and all that good stuff but yeah, let's go through the winners and the losers. All right, so let's start with the worst. So we all know which one's the worst. The worst would be mac and cheese. Disgusting, wet dog. Do not buy this. This is awful. And if you get it as a prank gift for your friends, they're not going to be your friend anymore. That's disgusting. That's like fermented something. It's disgusting. No. Drum roll. Okay, number four. So this is the worst, not the best. Number four, bacon. So I put bacon here simply because, I mean, they had a subtle bacon flavor, but not much, not much. Yeah, it was just, eh, it was kind of actually disappointing. I was expecting a little bit more of a punch, but you know, it's just bacon flavor. It's artificial, so there's not actual like any kind of bacon in it. Um, so kind of disappointing, didn't taste too bad. It kind of tastes like licking bacon, but not actually eating bacon. So yeah, number four, number three. Ketchup. So this one just kind of tasted like tomato sauce candy cane. Like, it definitely tastes like tomato sauce. Um, yeah, it had a decent flavor if you like ketchup. You know, the sweetness and the ketchup, you know, ketchup's kind of sweet, uh, kind of worked out. So yeah, so ketchup candy cane, eh, yeah. That was number three. Okay, number four. <laughs> Anchovy. Anchovy's number four. Not anchovy. Sardine. Sardine is number four. So I know most people that probably put it down here by bacon. But actually, I don't mind the fish flavor. I liked it. Kind of reminded me of a like a candied sardine snack. So I enjoyed it. Yeah, it kind of was kind of on the drier side, like, like kind of like fish flake or something, but wasn't too bad. So I enjoyed it. Surprisingly. And my favorite one. Drum roll, please. Actually, I might. Oh, we're going to do a taste off. Because now that I'm thinking about it, onion versus sardine. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, as I, the reason I'm changing my mind, as I picked this up, I just smelled onion, like the onion powder stuff, and it kind of triggered me. So, on 
Smell? This one kind of, I don't like the smell. It just smells like onion powder, like really strong onion powder. So we're gonna have a taste off. Taste off for number one spot. Sour cream and onion versus sardines. Who's gonna win? Ah! Okay, so we're gonna start with sardine. Now we're gonna try. Mmm. Way more flavor in the onion. Way more flavor. It almost overpowers the sardine. Like, I can't taste the sardine anymore. You know? This one's just too onion. Too much onion. Like, it just lingers in my mouth for too long. The smell is overpowering. It's just like straight on onion powder. So, onion. You moved down a peg on me, man. You moved down on a peg. And the winner of my favorite candy cane, surprisingly, sardine. Round of applause. <laughs> well, anyways, Buckhead, I think I'm gonna call it here. I hope you like my fancy candy cane taste test. And I hope you like the results. And if you're interested on any of these, I would say buy them, try them yourself, except for the mac and cheese one, burn that one in hell. Otherwise, try these four and I hope you enjoy, unless you really don't like somebody, then give them the mac and cheese. But anyways, I'm Buck Wilder. I hope you like my show today and uh, Merry Christmas and uh, have a good holidays. Have a good one, Buckhead. See ya.